Hey everybody, what's up? I wanted to bring you another edition of our Whiteboard Wednesday. And for you guys this week, I promised you last week that I would bring you an awesome video showing you how to break down the net numbers on your fix and flip deal. So I'm gonna use the same exact numbers that we used last week to determine the maximum allowable offer and using the ARV formula to make sure that you're not getting your ass handed to you when you buy and fix and flip properties. Because this is the big thing, guys. And this is where most realtors that, that have brought me deals and have brought other investors uh, deals over the years too. Because we, we talk about this stuff, guys. Realtors, you know, that's why we do things different here at Outfast Realty. We teach our realtors how to uh, analyze these deals properly so that way they don't look foolish when they bring us a deal. And I'm gonna explain to you what I mean by that. So remember before we had the deal was gonna sell for $200,000. So here's how you're, you're, you're gonna determine this, this net profit on this deal. And I want you to multiply the after repaired value of that property by 90%. Why 90%? Let's break that down. You're going to be paying 6% in commissions to the real estate agent. You're paying 3% to your listing agent and 3% to the buying agent to, to get that deal even under contract on the resale. You're going to pay about 2% in closing costs. So that means title fees. Basically, to get the deal closed at the title company, you're gonna pay for the title insurance and all those other uh, fees uh, that you have to pay for as the seller of that property. And the other 2% are essentially gonna be other miscellaneous fees. And what I wanna miss, what I want you to wrap into the miscellaneous fees are certain things such as property taxes, maintenance on the house, such as yard work, uh, pool uh, cleanings stuff like that that's going to add up and that's going to be in that 2% miscellaneous that's that 10% see 90 and 10 that gives you the 100% that's what that 10% is all this stuff up here that's the stuff that usually gets forgotten about when you're analyzing a deal now granted if you work with us over at Outfast Realty and Investors we can save you a little bit of money here if you're a fix and flipper yourself because we discount our commissions when the deals are sourced through us completely down to one and a half percent on the listing side so let's do the numbers though so let's okay now we're at $180,000 Literally $20,000 of your money is going away to these fees over here that you have to pay unless you're going to do for sale by owner, which doesn't work. So again, now you get to remember subtracting out that rehab cost, which was $50,000. That leaves you with $130,000. Remember, you got to subtract that purchase price. You're left with a whopping $30,000 in net profit. That's it. $30,000 net profit. That's not even including any holding costs that you may have, such as hard money, partnership money. That's just the hard cost. So when people talk about investors making this those so, so-called low-ball offers to um, sellers in the marketplace, this is why. It's not that they're low-ball offers because we're the investors. We're the ones taking all the risk by buying that house from that person for $100,000 and having to put in $50,000 worth of work to be able to resell it for that $200,000 mark. There's a lot of risk that goes in that. The market could shift. You could have overages in your rehab. Ask me how I know and all sorts of different things that will affect that bottom line figure. So if you're buying it for anything over a hundred thousand dollars, because we did that ARV Mayo formula last week, Guys, you guys are gonna lose your butts. And that's the whole reason that I'm doing these whiteboard Wednesdays for you all, is so you can understand that these numbers are the true numbers. That's what, what breaks down and makes true sense for you guys to make sure that you're not gonna lose your ass on these deals. Because too many people go out there and think that they're getting a deal by paying $140,000 for this house, because, oh, I can put this money into it, blah, 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 or whatever they pay for the property, and they come back to me and they lose their butts on it because they didn't listen to the advice by, they given to by myself, or our agents, or other agents in the marketplace, or other people uh, that are the real estate experts that are actually doing real deals out there. So for this Whiteboard Wednesday, I hope this was uh, really informative for you guys, because I want you to understand that this is how you make sure you don't lose money on deals. Do you have any questions about this? Make sure you ask them in the comment section and myself and my team will make sure that we respond to all of your questions throughout the entire Whiteboard Wednesday series here. So we will see you next week on another edition of Whiteboard Wednesday.